Welcome back to Daybreak. Just about 10 minutes to 8 now. Landlocked students teamed up with scientists to bring marine studies to life. That's right. A group of Colorado students escaped the cold for Grand Cayman's sunny skies and some hands-on experience with a marine biologist last week. Our own Leighton Peterson caught up with the crew out in East End. These are students who were born and raised in uh, the central part of the United States in a mountainous area. So far, it's amazing. I mean, I'm elated to be on such a great island uh, back from eight degree weather in Colorado to the 80 degree weather here. It's super cool. All of the students are part of a uh, nonprofit uh, that is at our school called Teens for Oceans. Uh, the T for O one students are being dive certified uh, with a bunch of dive instructors from uh, Ocean First Divers in Boulder, Colorado. Um, Teens for Oceans two students who were dive certified last year um, are here working on a, a kind of a unique camera that we have offshore of Compass Point. I um, teamed up with the group from uh, Teens for Ocean, and the when you when you put these cameras down, you need quite a lot of support infrastructure. You know, you have to have cables going up to battery packs and things like that. So it's not just choosing a good reef; it's choosing a good reef that is also logistically feasible to work in. I'm in the Teens for Oceans 1 group, so we are just working on getting certified, but the Teens for Oceans 2 group is working on renovating an underwater camera, um, which is placed by this coral, and people from around the world can watch this camera. Uh, it's a live feed of fish. Um, in just this awesome underwater environment. They're also installing this underwater coral nursery. Uh, one of the scientists we have out here is, um, it's really, he designed and patented it. Uh, so the way it works is uh, it's this rebar cage that Teens for Oceans 2 is working on welding together. And uh, then it's just got a tiny bit of an electric charge that accelerates how fast the coral grows. I am setting up my buoyancy compensator to my cylinder and then I'm going to put my rex on and turn on my air. We're getting them used to uh, looking at uh, beyond uh, their local uh, geography and learning something about uh, about the oceans and, and the life in the oceans and and this is a unique opportunity for them because not only do they get to um, learn about uh, reefs and fish and the eco ecosystems but they also get to do uh, some real-world projects and collect data. Uh, this allows them to learn the skills that they need to participate in research activities and educational activities uh, in the reef systems around the world. Um, you'll see a, you see a fish. I've learned some things about coral and how they grow, the different types of coral and how we're going to plant them. We also have some instrumentation. We can monitor salinity, turbidity, pH, and other factors that are affecting the reefs. And in conjunction with um, uh, Ocean Frontiers here and also with Yanni and Roman, uh, we're starting to look at the possibility of putting putting some instruments off of the wall and look at how the reef changes vertically. And when you look at coral reef ecology, you'll see that most of it's been done from about the surface down to about 130 feet deep. And the reason research has kind of stopped there isn't because there aren't any corals deeper, it's because the scientists, for the most part, can't go deeper. So we have this kind of big gap in our knowledge base on the coral communities um, and ecosystems at depths below 150 feet. So I'm interested in studying them at the, at these deeper areas. So um, our long-term goal out here is to eventually put permanent video cameras down at depths between 200 and 300 feet that we can then go online and look and see what's going on. Yeah. All right, so Dr. Yanni, who you just saw there, he was doing the deep water dives kind of as a scouting mission to try to find the right places to the put some cameras. Mm -hmm. Now the next step, they found apparently a primary spot that they really like and then a secondary one. So now they have to apply to Coastal Works okay. um, because, of course, that has to be regulated. You can't just get down there and just start attaching right, things to the reef. Yeah. Um, now, if I understand correctly, the you know they were talking about that coral nursery that sounds really fascinating, the rebar. And mm -hmm. So that's another thing where 
there. They've got to find the right spot for it. They, again, apply to Coastal Works uh, to be able to to place that in there. But then the idea is that it can it kind of, it creates a, a bit of a replenishment. Absolutely, um, yeah. And a nice spot Effort. for it. But it's fascinating, you know, that they figured out you know, in their testing that if they had this sort of electrical current through it, it, it makes them, uh, I guess, attracts them and they grow faster. Anyway, it's all, <laughs> yeah, it's all super fascinating. So still a little bit early stages, mm -hmm. but how amazing for those students, things that they're learning back in Boulder, Car Boulder Car Colorado. Then they get to go and spend time with this marine biologist and mm -hmm. help Actually him make this things. and yeah. understand why. And yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's amazing. And it was Teens for Oceans. They were on Daybreak a couple years ago when they put in, where did that first camera, mm -hmm. which you can actually just go to teensforoceans.com and you can, they have a few cameras in different places, but you can find the Grand Cayman one. And yeah, just it watch. is pretty I exciting I had it on for stuff. a while yesterday at my yeah. house. Yeah. <laughs> you um, fishies? I saw fishies. A fishies. Oh, yeah. And have you seen Nemo? No. I did not see Nemo. And I it had self-cleaning, like it has like a little, you'll see like the little wiper go around it. Right, yeah. yeah. I think That's it's a cool. great, um, you know, kind of, not lesson necessarily, but um, yeah, message, I suppose, for our younger um, students here in Cayman as well, interested in marine biology, because you don't, I mean, sometimes people are so separated from it, mm -hmm. come down here and are able to experience it. Um, and I think it'd be nice to see lots more Caymanians getting into it as well, yeah. and being able to really, um, you know, take full grasp of their own kind of, you know, environment. Have the most amazing heritage. classroom. Yeah. Around the whole exactly. island. Exactly. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, we have to take a break. When we come back, we'll have a look at what you can see on Cayman 27 tonight.